Hi, I'm Sharuz from Audier. I'm here with Tom from Synth Anatomy showing our new plugin, Nox. What is Nox? Nox is a multi effect processor designed to sit on the insert of any particular track. Uh, it includes 25 individual effects components licensed from uh, Sign Vibes, Artemy, very talented guy. Uh, if you're familiar with our plugin zone, you'll know how that works in Basis, where each uh, macro or each control has its own individual sequencer with its own unique number of steps and its own unique speed. Uh, Nox does exactly that. It takes effects instead of synthesizer parameters and places them in an audio insert. Uh, in addition to that, you can close the sequencer lane off and just have a very simple uh, but very effective six knob plugin. If you want the sequencer lane back in, you have eight fixed lanes, the uh, six macro lanes and an input, output and dry wet mix. Each of these effect parameters can be modulated on this grid by drawing in data using your mouse. Uh, you can also draw from a, a selection of different lane presets by going into this menu. Uh, you can shift up and down by holding down the shift key to uh, figure out how much of each particular effect parameter you want modulated. You can randomize, you can randomize everything, you can bypass, you can lock a lane and you can flip things horizontally, vertically or indeed increase them by a percentage amount and shift them by steps backwards or forwards. All of this uh, leads to quite a unique effect sequencing situ situation which would be quite difficult to create in automation. So uh, let's do a quick demo and look at some of the presets that we have. So in here. what kind of um, effects that you build in or it will come out with uh, from I think reverbs, delays or what kinds of effects are included? Good question. We have uh, several delays. We have about five or six different reverb types. We have distortion, ring modulation, pitch shifting, decimator, uh, four filters, chorus, flanger, ring mod and several other types. So pretty much everything you could imagine on your uh, sonic palette and a pitch shifter as well. Um, the beauty of having this uh, macro setup is that you can take several different components uh, of an effect and assign them to uh, one particular macro. So for example, you could have uh, compression, decimator and reverb dry wet on one uh, macro. You could have chorus amount, uh, let's say reverb time and delay time on another macro and all of this leads to effects processing situations and scenarios that you wouldn't necessarily see in most plugins. And you can have on the on different sequence line different effects here. Yeah. Yes it's indeed. Not, it's not that it's only a delay or it's only a reverb so you can have how much effects uh, on in total uh, there's 25 different effects, up to six of which could be assigned to the grid. So at any given time, you could have six effects um, with six parameters uh, on the grid. So if we had, for example, three reverbs, three delays, in theory, we could have the dry wet of all of these individual effects presented on the macros. If we had just one effect, like some of our presets are, for example, delays and free echoes, uh, we can have all the individual parameters of that uh, type of effect presented on the grid and one of the other nice things you can do with Nox is that you can uh, name your uh, macros and that will be presented uh, in the grid as well. Uh, because the lanes are fixed the knob movements respond in real time to what's happening in the grid which is uh, again another uh, unique feature versus uh, what Zone offered. With Zone we couldn't provide this feature because the, loans, the, the lanes weren't fixed, they were actually, you, it, it was possible to reorder them in, in, in different ways and depending on how those parameters were presented on the grid uh, would uh, form the basis for how the lanes were arranged, whereas in this plugin the lanes are all fixed. And where comes this idea then for creating an uh, effect processor with a sequencer? Yeah, so a lot of users um, they loved Zone and they wanted to see Zone as an effect processor in its own right. Uh, we felt like the sonic palette in Zone, while it's uh, incredibly useful for a synthesizer, wasn't necessarily the best thing uh, for an audio insert plugin by itself. It didn't feel particularly sexy. So we decided to add a few more uh, effect types like pitch shift, ring mod, and uh, enhance the reverb and delays a little bit so that they uh, sounded better across a wide range of audio material rather than being specifically for a synthesizer. And 
how we, uh, do you, how comes this um, collaboration with Art Artemy from Sunwipes? Is uh, do you ask them, or is it a friendship already? Or yeah, I've I've been lucky enough to know Artemy for several years, and um, I've been a big fan of the Sound Vibes plugins for quite some time. Uh, knowing Artemy as I do, and seeing the things that he gets excited about, kind of sonic challenges he likes to solve, I felt he would be the perfect partner to source this DSP. And he has absolutely not disappointed us in the quality of effects in Nux. And so I, I can, um, it, it, this new plugin is very experimental. It is very experimental and one of the challenges we have with it is actually in creating presets that feel like they will be universally suited to users and the beautiful thing about having the grid is that you can decide exactly what you want to do in relation to the audio material. If you have for example a 4-4 drum loop you're going to want to inform a uh, preset perhaps that fires the effect on every beat of the bar. If you are doing something that's perhaps a little bit more drum and bass or triplet based you may want to change the overall global sequence sequencer rate or the individual lane rate, something like 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, 4. We have 27 different speeds for each lane. With each lane being able to travel at its own speed, um, this can create some very interesting sequencing polyrhythms. Uh, zone users will be familiar with how this can sound quite exciting in, in, in theory. Uh, in practice, there's a crazy amount of tweaking that can be done here. And with the presets, we've left quite a lot of freedom uh, in there for the end user to be able to tweak the uh, overall sound largely dependent on, what, on how the audio material on the input stage sounds. And the idea of this plugin is bringing only macros or you plan also the full range of parameters of a reverb or a delay or what are the plans of this plugin? So it's going to be uh, preset led. There's going to be a lot of different presets on here. And if you look at the banks, while we, we are this, you, you guys are the first to see this. So there's a, a bunch of stuff uh, preset wise that hasn't been programmed in yet. We're going to arrange the presets by effect type. So in its loosest possible sense, you're going to see all the different effect types presented uh, with just their parameters on the grid here. Uh, but in addition to that, you're going to see some pretty crazy effects. If we pop into the best of, uh, like this one, acerbic jump. Uh, I haven't actually programmed, uh, named the parameters here, but each of these parameters presents several different effect parameters uh, on one macro. So control one, for example, is delay rate, uh, flanger feedback, I believe, and uh, decimator bit rate. So uh, finding these combinations is challenging, and when we did find the right combinations, we we're incredibly lucky to create some uh, processing that sounded very unique to us. And can we maybe hear it? I know it's not the best situation for demo. Absolutely. So uh, I've got this vocal sample from a guy called Jason Vaughan, Silver. Of this is a, a favorite of mine because an experience of always highly and, uh, stabilizing. I just decided to process his voice. Sublime, First of all, using some of our quite standard the presets, the which aren't doing much on the grid, like this walkie-talkie preset. And then um, going into a stuttering glitch, scratchy vinyl toolbox, which is just a stutter effect, which varies in and out, and a side chain, which is just the output volume, scratchy vinyl, which is a bit crusher, uh, a noise generator, I believe, and some pitch shifting. Delays, which uh, have the delay bounces are here on the grid, and the delay feedback. Delay time, which is quite cool. Free echo, which is a crazy effect. It's uh, a free sync stereo delay. Beta stop, which is a combination of different effect parameters on the grid. Pitch shift, ring mod, and reverb. I can randomize everything by pressing the dice button. And, you know, it's limitless. You can go completely crazy with this. The UI is sizable. You can bring it down to 90%, right up to 150%, 200%. You can free sync or uh, run at the host tempo of your door. And you can have a swing amount on the grid and also a chance. Uh, you can also mute in and out global lanes. You can uh, amend the left and right indicators of each lane to go across all 32 steps. You can mute individual steps. You can randomize individual lanes by uh, pressing this 
dice button and uh, you can have global sequencer presets as well that act as patterns across all the lanes versus the individual lane presets which you may be familiar with if you've used zone and for when or is it planned or coming out? yes so you guys have seen an alpha consider yourselves very lucky uh, <laughs> and but we're going to be looking to launch around about the first week of march so you'll start it'll be a relatively soft launch to begin with and we're talking with some very exciting people some a-list uh, producers about doing presets for us and dependent on when those come in we'll either launch uh, without the guest presets or we'll launch at a later date perhaps uh, a few weeks after that with some free preset packs okay and uh, what's expecting from price point uh, we're still figuring the price point out, but it's going to be a very, very competitive price considering there are 25 uh, world-class studio effects in there and a sequencer which is uh, highly functional versus anything else that we've seen out there at the moment. Okay, thank you for, for the short presentation. Thank you, Tom. Good luck. Thank you.